right, I got it dug down to the level where the bottles are starting to show up. Well, it's just a mint julep. All right, I just yanked one out. Don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's looking like a beer. Well, at least it's embossed to some extent. I don't even know what it says, but the top's chipped off. I'm just going to throw it. The first whole bottle. And it's just another beer, and this one doesn't even say anything on it. And there's a new burn with the top broken off. There seems to be a lot of those in here. And here's a Tarboro triple scripted half of one. I don't know why it's so muddy today. It was really dry last time. There's almost a whole bottle. Well, I guess it's not quite what you'd call almost whole. It's missing quite a bit at the top. It's just another one of those from New Bern. There's some ribs showing right there. That's almost a whole bottle again. Beautiful. It's probably cracked, but I might be lucky this time. Well, it's got a big lip chip. It looks pretty good other than that. And then, of course, we got that Pepsi land right there. But the top is missing. Well, I washed it up, and it looks to be free of any damage other than the chip on the top. Hmm, that looks pretty interesting. Oh, that's truly almost a whole one. But it's just the block print, which I really don't like at all. What if it's a Tarboro? That's a lot better than a Norfolk. But in this case, I think it is a Norfolk. Yep, it's a Norfolk, all right. But it might be worth a couple dollars because any Pepsi bottle that's from 1922 or older has got to be worth something even with the big chip out of it. Well, another one with the top broken off and it's from Rocky Mount. You don't get to see a layer this nice very often. What do we got here? It's a print Coca-Cola. Bottled in three cities here in eastern North Carolina. This is the Williamston variant. I wish it was a bowling pin Pepsi instead. I finally got that one Pepsi out that had the top broken off. It's just another new burn. I think I got a whole one for sure this time. You can see the top is there. Boy, what am I thinking? The crown is sheared right off of it. But that's an easy repair job. And it's another new burn. I got one showing here. Could be whole. Hmm. Well, at least I got the top of one so I can repair it. What about this one? I know what it is already, just by the bottom. It's another julep bottle. Well, it's almost whole. Well, it looks like a whole one right there. some chips on the top and the bottom but other than that it's intact. I found plenty of topless bottles in my life but this one's missing its bottom. But it still looks pretty good on the shelf. Well that one's broken. How about this one? Oh, it's broken too. How about that one? Sure looks full so far. Oh dang it. Another broken one. I just pulled out a whole one. It's got some cracks in it though. Another jewel up bottle that's almost intact. Just pulled one out. It looks to be a whole one. It's a triple script, all right, and it's, 
I can't see anything wrong with it at all. I'll have to wash it up and it's very close to perfect. It just has a crack right up here on the top. It's definitely one of the best bottles that's come out of this dump so far. Nope, it's another broken one. And it's from Durham. But what's this one? Hmm, got script up here. It's a Tarboro, it's a fairly scarce variety. I just pulled out something different. It seems to be in perfect condition. And it's some kind of a bottle I've never seen before. Let me wash it up and we'll see what it looks like. Hmm. Can't quite read it. Well, is that Orange Crush? It is. Orange Crush Bottling Company of Greenville. Never seen one before. Too bad it has some cracks in it. But it's too rare to throw away, so I'm bringing it home. Just pulled out another one that's intact. It's a later looking bottle. Looks like the very late 30s. Try me. Try me pale. And it's from Richmond. Haven't ever seen one of these before either. Probably not worth much being from the big city and being a later only shoulder embossed bottle, but it's certainly got to be worth at least three dollars. I see a bunch of bottles sticking out in here. Hopefully a couple of them will be intact. That one right there looks pretty good. So many bottles stacked on top of it, I can't get it out without breaking it. Well, it was intact. It's even got the bottle cap on it. Alright, it's a Tarboro Triple Script. Hopefully there's no cracks in it. Well, it's not perfect. It's got a giant crack developing in here. But it's definitely worth something. Alright, something else that's different. Looks like a Coca-Cola product. Let me wash it off and see what it says. Yeah, it's Coca-Cola of Huntsville. What's, no, it's Alabama. Just pulled out an intact julep bottle. But even the ones that are intact are always cracked. Yeah, it's definitely got some huge cracks in it. I'll bring it home and spray paint it. Another Coca-Cola bottle from Albany, Alabama. I just yanked out two intact bottles within 10 seconds of each other. Got a Pepsi from New Bern. Well, it does have some chips on the top. What's this other one? Looks like a straight side of Coke. And it does have a chip. But it's definitely a good one because it's from Tarboro and it's blown in a mold. So I'm sure I could still get $10 for it. Alright, looks like we've got a whole one. What's it say on the bottom? It's very hard to read it, even clean. Looks like it says Littleton, North Carolina. Uh, that's the first bottle I found from that city. It's got a crack in it though. But still, I'll bring it home. Well, it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be. Not quite good enough to make it worth the 120 miles of driving I'll have to do. But it wasn't terrible. So I'll spend the night and try and dig some privies tomorrow.